this mountain of problems for all these years for me and my family. Please, give me the truth. That's what I'm asking for, the truth. What did you hear that caused to turn you against me? And you don't even want to take my side of the story. You don't want to hear it. You always walk away from me. Like I'm some type of skunk or something, and I smell. Okay. Okay, and another comment. Okay. So you're not going to answer my question. This is the end like this. Okay. I, want to, I want to show you all. This is my mother. This is the day she died, crying, 17 days. I sent you the tape when she said, please don't kill me. I don't want to die. And you did nothing about it. I didn't expect to get an answer. All from you, but it's time. Totally it's time. It's all coming up. And no problem for you guys. But it's the truth. You need a motion to close the meeting. To the it's the truth. And you're controlling it. Make a motion to close the meeting to the vote. Uh, the motion to close by Trustee Claypool. Can we have a second? I'll second it. And second by Trustee Catholic. Please take the roll. Trustee Pat? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Claybrooks? Yes. The motion passed. The meeting is now closed to the public. And there are people that do come to the meetings and they make comments and they make statements. And there are certain people, regardless of what type of counsel you give them, they will not accept it. And they will not accept it. So if there's nothing that you can tell them, they won't accept anything you say. And your point is in vain. I'm <laughs> just in vain. I'm not. I'm not trying to kill myself. Trying to convince somebody of something. And they just keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. Well, I don't know. What to say. I don't have a solution. So it's certainly uh, certain problems were certainly too big for me. So we're gonna have to kick them up to hell because and some people they just won't pay attention to what you're trying to tell them. So here I have a little comment. If I remember right, the court ordered her mother to stay with her sister, right? The court took her away from, yeah, Mrs. Lipinski, and then she was forced to stay with her sister when, when she passed. And she came right here about seven, eight, or ten years ago, whatever it was, and threw a paper down in the floor and said, You killed her mother and stormed out, stormed out, and I'll like you did tonight, so it was worse. <laughs> Sorry, I wish I could. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a lot of aggravation uh, between her and the neighbors. But well, I think we also have to remember that we can't get involved in people's personal health issues. Right. Right. We can't make decisions for them. You know, or even if they come and ask for something, you know, we we the village cannot get involved in anything. Yeah. But I have advised her several times, just don't talk to the neighbor, don't bother them, don't just leave them alone, but she won't do that. So, okay. Um, what I would like to say in the uh, men's report, so we are uh, uh, still trimming some trees, as I did mention at the last meeting. And we also asking uh, people if they would cut the trees inside of their fences. So we have it now, the trees, uh, they're overgrown. And trees are falling from one neighbor's yard to another person's yard. And we have one tree right now that failed and blocked the senior citizen's back porch. So in the event if she had an emergency in her house, if she if she couldn't go out the front, then she could have a major problem because she could because she couldn't get out the back off the neighbor's tree. The wind blew her down and it fell off the porch to keep her from getting out. So we do need to keep the trees cut down. And, uh, and it's power to have somebody to treat very near you and you can cut down. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and another lady, the tree behind her, fence, uh, fell over and ran in, I believe it fell into the common end wires. Mm -hmm. That was another safety issue. The storm, a lot of storms coming, so it's blowing the fence down. And so, that is out of our control, but the one that we can't handle, and the one we should, but we should, uh, but we should take care of. Those. Also, we have some people, you know, have been calling in requiring uh, that sidewalks to be repaired. 
we are not going to be able to repair every sidewalk that's being put out for this year. And so we will put them on the list for 25. And we will do as many as we can. It'll probably be in excess of $300,000. So somewhere in the neighborhood, or maybe a little more. So we'll have a report on that at a later time. Thank you. Thank you. All right, close to that. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Just a reminder on the um, village um, vehicle window sticker. Every resident of the village of Burnham that has a vehicle or vehicles are required to have a current vehicle window sticker displayed by July 1st. This is the last week, so just a reminder. Um, this Thursday is the last Thursday in June that the office will be open on Thursday from 9 to 7, which is our late day. Office hours during Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays are 9 to 5. You can come in to purchase a sticker or you can email the information for the sticker information to the email is vehicle sticker plural at burnham il.gov. If you are a senior 62 or older or a veteran, your first sticker is at no charge. You just need to provide us with your current vehicle registration and an ID to show the that you're 62 or older or a veteran. Um, a second sticker for a veteran or 62 or older, the, stick, the second sticker is $15. The third sticker will be charged the type of vehicle that is on the registration. Vehicle stickers are $45. Um, truck fee plates are $65. Again, you must bring your current vehicle registration with you. So that is all I have. Yes. After um, the 30th, is it a late fee or okay. So yes, after um, late fee will be assessed on July 1st. It's Friday then? It's, no. No, the 28th is Friday, so that's the last day that will be open in order for you to purchase or get your vehicle sticker. So on Monday, on Monday, so then there will be an additional $10 fee. It's a Sunday. It says it's going to follow on Sunday. It probably should extend that to Tuesday. Okay. Until Tuesday. Somebody send it to Monday. Huh? No, no. So I'm saying the third of it is on a Sunday, so we really can't count that day. So I'm saying if it, you know, the last day falls on a Sunday, the day that the residents can't use. Oh, okay, okay. So the so day is on Tuesday. Yeah. Okay, so then on Monday you can still purchase your sticker without okay. without getting a late fee. But if you don't have a sticker on the window, you can't get a ticket. It has to be displayed by the first for your. Well, um, I mean, the police is pretty generous to try to give the people time. We really have not really um, enforced that a whole lot, especially during the COVID and stuff. So we're really kind of coming out of that. So um, it's not the goal of the village of Brother to make money off the stickers. We just want compliance. So, okay. Thank you, Claire. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Discussion of consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve the proposal, quote, not to exceed $100,100 for the purchase of body cameras for the village of Vernon Police Department. Anyone have any feedback people like to report on that? Off the off the off the uh, the body cameras are Axon. Uh, they're linked with evidence.com. That's what everyone, uh, the best, cam best cameras that are out there right now, there's Panasonic's and from what I've heard from other departments, they're, they're not compatible with, uh, with, uh, with other, with other um, cameras. Axon, if I'm being on with major crimes, if I'm at another uh, department, and I need to download my camera that has Axon, I can just dock it and go straight to our cloud. We'll go straight to our cloud from whatever, whatever department I'm at. If it needs to be docked, it goes straight to evidence.com where the state's attorneys have access to evidence.com. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. 
how long does the camera last right there? You know what I mean? What the, you mean the, uh, the battery or the, the actual life of the camera? The life of the camera. The life of the camera, right now it's the Axon 4, it's the latest one. Um, I would say about three to four years, three to five years actually, but if the camera goes out, they will replace it and give you the uh, give you the, the newer one. So let's say they come out with the Axon 5, we will we'll get the Axon 5. Is there any guarantee? Excuse me? How, how, is there a guarantee? Or, uh, if the camera goes bad, yes. Okay. Yeah, if the camera goes bad, yes. <laughs> How many cameras have uh, you purchased? I believe that's uh, it's a total of 14 cameras. <coughs> and that, that includes also the, the cloud storage, which is mo most likely, you know, the uh, storage was basically the, the uh, most expensive part. How long is it going to be stored? Is there a time limit? Did you store something? Or I, don't want to give you the incorrect the time, but uh, it's I know I know it's to what what the state uh the state mandate is. Um, is each officer responsible for their camera? So each each full timer will get a camera uh, assigned to them. Now that officer will dock it every night. They'll dock it every night when they come in for the shift. They'll grab it. They have the camera. There'll be four cameras for part timers, which. It's, it's not that it won't be that hard to assign it to themselves for that shift. And, you know, they won't get their own because some part-timers only work maybe one, two shifts a month. But there'll be four cameras for part-timers and the other, and then two, ten full-timers will have a, a body camera assigned to them. Okay, thank you. Let's see if the... I'd like to make a motion to approve the proposal to quote not to exceed one hundred thousand one hundred dollars for the purchase of body cameras for the village of Vernon Police Department. There's a motion on floor by Trustee Griff to include this uh, amount. One hundred thousand one hundred dollars for the purchase of body cameras. Could we have a second, please? Second. Second by Trustee Richardson with a credit card Trustee Cat? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Flavor? Yes. A uh, motion passed. You see, Justin. Here's some here. So here's some tips to ensure the best health possible. Stay, stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water. And water helps to keep your joints lubricated. It reduces stiffness in the body and pain. Exercise. Engage in activities like swimming and cycling. These exercises help to maintain your joint flexibility and strength without putting um, excessive strain on your joints. Incorporate plenty of fruits and vegetables into your diet. Um, food rich in antitoxin, inflammatory properties can help manage inflammation and promote overall health in your body. And above all, listen to your body. Pay attention to your body signals and get rest. Stay your rest. Cook County Legal Aid is a free county-wide program. It's available to all Cook County residents, regardless of income or immigration status. If you are a renter facing eviction, a landlord dealing with eviction issues, being sued for unpaid debt, suing someone who owes you money, or you behind on your mortgage or your property taxes, Legal aid may be, may be able to help you. Their number is 855 or you can go online at www.cookhouselegalaid.org. Yes, you can. <laughs> of course. Okay. County Care, as you know, is a Medicaid health plan, and they're they are having open enrollment right now. But um, the benefits of staying with County Care, if you're considering staying with County Care, they have four thousand five hundred primary care providers to choose from. They have seventy hospitals you can choose from. They got 20,000 specialists you can choose from. 
They have 11025 urgent care location. So if you're an open enrollment and you might consider staying with county care, if you have any questions, you can call 312-854-8200. AMVETS post number 43 and the village have joined together to create a memorial dedicated to our veterans. The Veterans Memorial would include a granite raised mark, marker, a flagpole, park benches, and a brick patio paper. Our goal is to have the uh, our goal is to have the project completed by November on Veterans Day of 24. Donations are being accepted by AMVET Post number 43. And you can drop off your uh, donations there if you want to get a brick. You can see uh, MVAC, Dr. Mike uh, Tritch, or if you'd like to talk to Jeff, Carmela, or myself. Please help us complete our mission. Together we stand. And if you go to lots of different little uh, municipalities, everyone has a memorial. We need our own. So please consider helping us. Again, we want you to read this by November of, um, of the 24th. Thank you. Mr. Boat and, and Incorporate and the Village of Burns will host a community blood drive. This is our second blood drive for this year. It will be August the 14th. Appointments will be deferred and walk-ins are always welcome. The time will be from 3 to 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And it'll be right here at the Village Hall. Donating blood is a kind act that takes a little effort from the donor. After donating this blood, your body will naturally replace the lost uh, fluid. The body replenish, replenishes itself within four to eight weeks. Most donated blood will go to cancer patients, people with blood diseases, surgery, or chronic, chronic illness. And three minutes of donating, it can reduce your heart attack for yourself, it will lower your risk of cancer, and it would also reduce potential health issues if you have them. So please consider uh, donating blood and pass the word on. Again, that is August the 14th, 2024, right here at our village hall. The ice cream yeah, is being recalled. There's ice cream that is being recalled. Um, they, they were testing the ice cream and they found the bacteria in the ice cream. So multiple brands of ice cream products is being recalled. The investigation is going on. And um, and as you, as you go on, I'll let you know more about it. But uh, because there are several products, they don't, they do not have all the names of the products, but the products were available and it's nationwide, nationwide. And at this time, no illness has been um, connected to the recall product. And however, if you have product after you find the names of all the products, you may um, return it for your money. Again, our annual garage sale again this year. We've been doing this for several years now. July the 20th. It's 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Bring your own setup. Bring your own setup. No exception. The fee is $25. And if it's rain on that day, because we have so many activities that's planned, our rain date will be September the 21st. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait, this is good news. The village of Vernon has installed five AED defibrillators. It's one at the village hall, the community center, the senior center, the water department, and the public works building. So that is great news. Thank you. Thank you.
Public Works has been out there on general cleaning throughout the village, cutting grass, uh, trimming the trees, also uh, removing the fallen branches from the street, uh, you know, due to the rainstorms and stuff like that. Um, this this summertime it's still hot out, so if you have to be in your yard doing yard work, uh, planting flowers, cutting grass, you know, just make sure you stay hydrated, and uh, that's all I have. Good evening. Good evening. Discussion of consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve ordinance number 2024-0-005, an ordinance pertaining to the regulation of video gaming and video gaming cafe, many chapter six, alcoholic beverages, <coughs> section six. Dash 94, classifications, hours, and fees of the Court of Ordinances for the Chaverna. Okay, we have, um, we have a motion approved by Trustee uh, Garcia to approve this ordinance number 2024. Is that zero? Oh, that zero, zero, five. Could we have a second, please? So I have a question. What changed? What's different with this one than what we had before? Oh, the hour, the time, but now they was closed on Sunday. People so now they can still from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Oh, okay. And from uh, 10 to 10 on Monday to uh, Saturday to 2 a.m. It'll be consistent with the other code. Okay. All right. Thank you. What about it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe chapters uh, six and what it just means that um there's gonna be uh, an, an additional fee for the extra time that they will be open. Trustee Garcia trust trusted. Trust, 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 trust. Everything comes underneath that heading alcohol and traffic. Video cafes are governed underneath alcohol and traffic. Just to say it. Only a beer and wine place. That's that's a state rule too. The state mandates that, that okay, to have a poker machine, you have to have a liquor license. <coughs> doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, before we proceed on this, I'm gonna ask the attorney to step out for a few minutes. And, uh, Okay. So, I have to make a motion, right? So, um, I make a motion to approve ordinance number 2024 0 005, an ordinance pertaining to the regulation of video gaming and video gaming cafe, menu chapter 6, alcoholic beverages, section 6 94. Classifications, hours, and fees of the Court of Ordinances, Village of Vernon. Second. Okay, so now that the motion has been made by Trustee Garcia, so it's second by Trustee Pepper. Thank you for the right on the roll, please. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Motion passed, thank you. Thank you see you, Trustee Garcia. Discussion of consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve resolution number 2024-R-004, a resolution dedicating the present police road to honor Stanley Tiboric, who 
Village of Burnham in Municipal Corporation of the State of Illinois. Okay, thank you. Any questions from the board? Okay, um, so I make a motion to approve resolution number 2024-R-004, a resolution dedicating the Pleasant Police Road to honor Stanley Pagoric, the Village of Burnham and Municipal Corporation of the State of Illinois. Okay, so Trustee Garza comes back for a motion to approve the motion for the uh, family and honor the Police Road. So we have a second, please. I'll second it. Okay, Marsha, you're coming back. Of course. Excellent. I'll second. Okay. Trustee Pollo. Trustee Cat? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claypool? Yes. Uh, motion passed. Thank you. Do you have anything else, Trustee Garcia? I have Trustee Kemp. I have nothing. Thank you, Trustee Kemp. Trustee Kemp and Trustee Richardson. Good evening. Good evening. It's always a time of fun in the sun, but it's also important that your home can take the heat. So here are a few things that you can do to ensure that your home will stay cool. Check your HVAC system. Check the filter and replace it if it's dirty. Call a pro to check refrigerant levels and complete seasonal maintenance. Program your thermostat for savings. Install a smart thermostat and program it so that you're not cooling the house unnecessarily when you're not at home. Check air sealing and insulation. Inspect windows, doors, and insulation and fix any issues such as gaps around seals, keeping the heat and humidity out of your home means that your air conditioning system won't have to work as hard to keep you comfortable. Rotate your ceiling fans counterclockwise that can reduce air conditioning use. Test your smoke and carbon monoxide alarms. Put in new batteries for safety. Clean refrigerator coils. The refrigerator coils can become clogged with dust, inhibiting their cooling capacity. Clean the air intake and compressor coils to ensure efficient operation. Check lawn and garden power tools. Check and maintain lawn and garden power tools. If old gas fuel tools are failing, it's a good time to replace them with new battery power tools that are cleaner, more convenient, and cheaper to operate. Inspect hoses and irrigation systems. Finally, make sure hoses and irrigation systems are working properly and fix any leaks that may have sprung up during the winter. So those are a few things that you can do to help keep your home cool and keep your bills down. Also, we're having a gospel fest, our first one. It's going to be on July 27th here at the Village Hall from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. <coughs> and I'm looking for volunteers to help me in the community garden. So if anyone is interested in or willing to help out, Please, you know, leave your information with me. And that's it. Yeah, thank you, Trustee Richardson. Um, Cardinal Recreation, uh, Trustee Hodge is not here this evening. Uh, the Park District has ordered a new swing set for Lohead Park right out here. Hopefully, that it will be here in time enough for the event on the 27th. So, but it is one more than the Park District Board did approve a couple of weeks ago. What was the date on the 27th? Is that July? Yes, the gospel then. It's July 27th. Okay. Okay. I have a couple items. So finally, after all the calls we made to the Kell City State Street, uh, potholes were patched a couple weeks ago. I'm sure everyone has noticed. Some of the potholes had, didn't have bottoms, so they were like bottomless. So finally, Kell City got it, got yeah. it repaired, and I did call and thank them the day Luce called me that when she first noticed. 
I also attended a golf outing last Saturday <coughs> in Wicker Park, and I passed out a handful of, uh, of the flyers on the bricks to all the veterans organizations in Northwest Indiana. I did that. The other issue I have is fireworks. Everybody seems to be concerned with the fireworks yeah. because it seems like our neighbors are going crazy thinking every night is the 4th of July. Yes. It's especially yeah. bad on Father's Day weekend. I don't know if anybody And Juneteenth. Yeah. Oh, no. Juneteenth, it was bad too. Yeah. I did call. I called that night and somebody beat me to it, so somebody called ahead of me. You know, I have a concern about my garage. That's the, I mean, they shoot something and it just lays on top of my garage. Uh, same, same With way. all this heat, if you catch a fire, it's so not going to be good. I think our best plan will be next year to address it ahead of time, right? Jesse, is that what you we said? We can still address it. We need to update kind of our way. ward ordinances and yeah. make it the fines tougher and maybe put out some signs like. Yeah. Lansing and Riverdale, Lansing has and Riverdale. But we need to make it tougher on these people because they think their backyard is a carnival and they don't care about their neighbors. And then the other, the last issue that I have is we addressed this several times, but we still need to work on the speed limits on Torrance and Burnham because they're, it's crazy how fast people are going. Yes, it is. You know, like 80, we caught somebody going 100. Whoa. 102, I think, right? That, that was the one on Torrance. Eight. 82. And then I saw one in, my, in front of my house doing 80. I know they've caught several people, but. I don't know if the state will give us permission to make any. Uh, I think we could just do it. We could right. do it home rule. We just need to put up different signs. Right. You have to get clarification because I don't have to make it for simply clear. They don't want to do anything to make profit. Yeah, but everyone else changed it. The city changed theirs. Hegwish changed theirs. Chicago changed Torrance and everyone. They sent me letters. They sent me letters saying they don't want us to do anything on their property. Period. They need to do something because it's really I agree with you. I'm not really not sure exactly what it is. There's accidents all the time. There's, you know, it's constantly an accident because, so that's, those are the two big ones for me. Fireworks and speeders. I think it'd be better, I mean, put, put speed cameras on, that would be better like they got it 127th Street. You yeah. don't ever see anybody street though. And speed no, no, Because everybody's had at least one ticket there. You don't see anybody street over there. Yeah, absolutely. No. So. But they say that's a school zone, right? That's how they get in yeah, Chicago. They say that park districts is a school zone. Okay. All right, we'll see that. We, we still need to look. That's yeah. probably a Stanley issue because we We've addressed this several oh, times. Okay, okay, thank you for your comment. All right. Well, yeah, we just want to remind everyone there is a hiring. The Wing Creek um, Casino is hiring. And I have a list. We have a list here. If you'd like a copy, I'm going to like to share it with you. But they're hiring for everything. Wing Creek, that would be an onward. And I do think that we'll be opening very, very soon within weeks. Do we have any presentation of petitions, communication, memorials, that's monitored? I think we did get a card from the plane giving us a thank you. Thank you. Oh, police chief, right? Uh, you gave me that. Yes, I have a, um, I have a former police chief, uh, James Crawl, uh, passed away a few days ago. You notice on the outside we got the bunny out there, that's what that's for. And so uh, the wait is tomorrow evening and the service will be on Thursday. So if there's anyone interested in going, we can give you that specific information. So I'll be attending tomorrow afternoon myself. So let's do a moment of silence for me. Why don't we do that here? Thanks. So can we have a moment of silence by a former police chief, James Crawford? Thank you. We don't have anything on the new business, but at the next meeting, which is uh, July the 9th, uh, I'll be making a major announcement for the Village of Brown. A major announcement. 
last two appointments of the year, but I'm not going to tell you. July the 9th. Mayor get married. Yeah, that is nice and not going to be made. Oh, he's so. getting married. <laughs> That's nice. I'm going to go quite that far. Is that cool? Yeah, it's going to be nice and may not be that nice. Uh, I mean, not in that <laughs> So, uh, second, so, um, we don't have any other announcements that I'll ask for me. I mean, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. Yeah. Motion to adjourn. The motion was moved by Trustee Garcia and the second by Trustee Clay. Trustee Pat? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Clay? Yes. Motion passed. Meeting adjourned. Thank you. 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 Thank you.